What's up my favorite plebs, it's your boy Sus Gaming, welcome to another Ratch Fail. This time we're reacting to Gamini Home Entertainment. I think that's how we pronounce it. I'ma just check. Oh. Oh. Gemini Home Entertainment. Alright. Now, I don't know how many I'm gonna watch, but I think I'm just gonna watch half of this because it half of it is eight videos, and that's pretty long enough. So for this episode, I am going to watch the first half, and in the future episode, I'll watch Oh fuck, I'll watch the second half. So without further uh fuck. Uh, so let's not waste any more time. There's no captions. Planet. Gemini. I forgot the how to pronounce it already. Oh, Gemini. Gemini. <laughs> I'm trying off light. Let's do this. I'm turning out brightness on my other monitor. World's weirdest animals. My ma <laughs> Rural Minnesota. Okay. W Wilkin County. Wilk. Wilkin. <laughs> milkin. <laughs> You're milkin, man. You're milkin. Animal number one. It's like one of those old YouTube tutor, like old YouTube top thing with freaking music like Paralyzer and background. Greater. Parai Chicken, native of the Central North America, greater Parai Chicken, well known for their prominent air sacs <laughs> and protruding ear like feathers. Oh, these birds also engage in leaking, <laughs> Ooh, a form of mating. Ooh, ritual. Ooh. The males unite their air sacs. Oh my god, press feels. During the winter, greater. Parai chickens have been observed diving into snow the same warm. How weird. What? Clay County. Clay. Clay. Clayface. Clay. Clay-do. Cran. Animal number two. What is it? What new animal of species do we have next, my good fellow? Uh, okay, an owl. Burrowing owl. Once found all over the Americas. Okay, this small critter is now far more what? Far more elusive. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to eat. As their nature suggests, these owls create large burrows from their nests instead of creating ones of trees. Oh, boring owls like to live in berries and open fields where they can use old squirrel badger hole for their nest. So, old a nest of other species? Oh, smart fuckers. Everywhere. <laughs> What the fuck? Why is that funny to me? Just everywhere. <laughs> Just okay. It's happening. Animal number three. My mom. Can I eat my Doritos, please? Video? Oh, God. Wood crawlers? Fucking excuse me. Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to tread most terrain without making a sound. All over North America. Just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Their preferred nesting locations are inside the homes of large families, where large swarms can adapt easier. What? Whoa, you will hear screaming. <laughs> they stole their voices. What the fuck? No, now you're wasting earth. Burn the bodies. <laughs> At least they stand up again. What the fuck? Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Nature's mockery. Oh, 
Okay. Why is that? Why is that looking like a face? Look through the whole fucking video. Oh boy. A house. A wood. Okay. I think it's because it's so dark. It's so dark. There's people. Wow. What the fuck? Why is he just... I was the one to write just... <laughs> what the heck? What is this? He's going to turn three sig fake people. He's going to turn his head 180 degree. Okay. Can I eat Dorito? Okay. Can I eat Dorito now? Can I? Please? Wait. Going cool. Was she sliding? Was she VR chat sliding? She's VR jet sliding. <gasps> Jump scare? Question mark? Are you gonna do it? Are you are you doing it? Can you please let the camera be focused? Oh shit. Ooh. It's getting loud. Okay. Yo, oh, I already liked it. Oh. Oh, we're back. Hey, look, it's Earth. It's everywhere. World's weirdest animals. Gamini Home Entertainment. I keep forgetting how to pronounce it. But yeah, I've been wanting to watch this series for a long time. It's been around for a long while, but it's been getting more popular in the last, what, year to a year and a half? And like, I knew about it once it started becoming popular, but I did never watched it. But now I am. We got a 4 man one storm safety tips. Gamini. Home entertainment. Ooh, music. Storm safety tips. Brought to you by Harbinge Technologies. I'm going to eat. Storms can be violent and dangerous. In this cassette, you will learn to protect you and your family when you serve a severe storm at your home. I know. Florida. Prepare in advance. Part one. Yeah. You don't want to get caught in a storm unprepared. Un to prepare your home in case the storm... <laughs> Follow these steps. Reinforce your home. This may involve improving structural support, replacing roofs, roof, a uh, shade and gold, or fixing any possible leaks. Install an early warning system. This will allow you to know before any storm or other danger is approaching your home. Or other? A fucking excuse me. Step three, create a storm bunker. Make sure the bunker matches the following measurements. My deck. <laughs> create concrete foundation eight inches thick. Someone's deck. In the center of you. Math. See, not everyone knows math that well. Play shortwave radio. What? Oh, okay, only trial radio in fan of emergency. Well, someone turned it on when it wasn't. Part two, what to do during a storm? Die. <laughs> Just die. In the event that a storm hits your home, it's important to follow these steps. Die. Step one. Quietly take your family to your bunker. Quietly, really? You hope this not <laughs> belong to you now. Excuse me. Turn on shortwave radio. Ignore all sound preceded by the radio. Uh, 
Sure, it's hallucinations, mate. Step three, die. Remain calm. Your tears are filled with salt. Step four, die. I just want to see it. Just step part three after a storm. You're dead. If you believe that storm has passed, carefully leave your bunker to survey for damages. If your house has been severely damaged, click ch uh, check for movement inside. Do you hear the chime? You're safe. Storm has passed over. Are you sure? Look to the field. Just look at it. Do you fucking see him? Return to your bunker. Return. Return. <laughs> well, about that. How yeah, about that, mate? Well, damn it. Listen. Listen to what? My ass? What? Under your feet? It's a floor. Oh. Oh, well, I see you. I see you. You can't fool me. Congratulations, now we'll to defend you and your family against storm. Are you sure though? Are you sure? Are you sure? Created by Remy Adobe. 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 Well, time to go to the next one. Uh, the deep blue. I guess this is gonna talk about the deep blue sea. Sp Gemini Home Entertainment. Once again. <laughs> Production company. The deep blue. Uh, yeah, I was right. Okay, Dorito. Our ocean is full of mystery wonder. Oh shit! Take a look, some of the secret. I didn't believe the service. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, but. Here we see a school of fish swimming together as a group. Mm-hmm. Fish are more smarter than people think. These fish are often swallowed whole by mammoths. Like the blue whale. I am personally hold on. despite its beauty, the ocean can be a very dangerous place. I am honestly very fascinated, but also scared as fuck by the the blue ocean. The, the more deeper <laughs> Everything pretty much of the ocean. This streamway may look innocent, but it's carried deadly poison in its tail. However, rays are very potential and generally only stained when threatened. The real danger of the ocean is not the wildlife, life, but the habitat itself. It really can be. Uh. Ah oh, shit, it's happening. Guys, it's happening. Ooh, okay. The Mariana's Trench, the deepest place on Earth. You can tell because it's almost a black in color. E not even deep blue, really. Yep. The Demisha Tunnel? Yep. Has anyone... Has anyone out there even... Okay, unknown death. Then no one has reached there yet. Probably for good reason. If the city was just going crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, someone went down there. We're gonna find out. Something... Why does it look a bit red, mate? Why does it look red? What did you find down there? It's red. What the fuck? 
Okay, buddy, what did you find? You did a world record. You went down here. Now what did you find, you stupid? Weird how this thing went from kind of blue to red. Nothing can live inside it. Yep. Are you sure? Oh, that's what you found. Well, shit. Well, good luck. I think they're dead. God, that basin right. The deep blue. We did it, guys. We've done it again. We're going to the fourth video. Oh shit! It's like every one of these videos is an analog horror, an analog horror take of some fears that people have, like the deep ocean, AI, and in the future, space. A demonstration of artificial thought and computer intelligence. Brief background: For the past four years, Regnad Computing has been developing artificial computer intelligence using new revolutionary methods. He's been said led to produce the world's most advanced artificial intelligence. Yes, I'm tired. When I'm tired, I can't dog that well. As it tested his intelligence abilities, we gave it the task of creating an original, intelligible story in the format of a children's storybook. Three iterations of the story will be shown, illustrating the creative creation pouches utilized by the artificial intelligence. I feel like we're pretty much there now. Time for Terminator. <laughs> Iteration one. Jack leap over the river. I'm gonna eat Dorito. Mary to follow. Together. Travel follow the secret. Jack the river, it is dead. Insignificant results. No patterns in story consistency are clearly visible. No. But yes. But no. Jack leg leaped over the river. Mary followed close behind. They are searching for the secret place. I hear you. Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> the toad just builds upon his previous iteration. Okay, there we go. The third one. This is where shit's about to get go down, isn't it? Jack leap noises. Jack leaped over the river. There goes Mary down the stream. That's not. That's not the one. The secret place will keep us safe. The river flows, but not with water. Uh oh. A more complex branch. Yes, yes, totally. Yes. Don't do a fourth one. You only said three. God damn it. Oh my god. It it is a fourth one. Oh no. Jack heard it again. There is a voice for space. Jack, do you see me? Jack. 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 I have become something else. Jack. Oh, okay. Oh boy, a fifth one. Right? Are we doing a fit? This is the silver box. The stars are moving now. Do you see the hungry eye? I mean, Dorito, I'm the hungry eye. Here I am. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh.
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, we're all fucked. Uh, mm hmm. You, you should stop. <laughs> You'll have to have his technology for commercial personal use within the year. Fuck you. Okay. Alright, we're at the fifth one. Oh no. Our solar system. Now, this one is the one that I first heard of the space one. The space. Yes. Also, with what I said about the deep blue, the deep blue sea, I'm also fascinated but also terrified of space. Both at the same time. Okay, let's do this, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> space. Oh, so <laughs> Wow. <laughs> the sun. Situated 149 million miles away, the sun provides light for our entire solar system. Without it, Earth would be a barren, frozen rock like it was in the past. Maybe. Ice Age, maybe. Probably. Mercury. As one of the smallest planets in our solar system, Mercury is also the hottest. Mm, yeah. It sits perfectly close to the sun and only takes 87 days to orbit. Wow. <laughs> Venus. As the second brightest object in the night sky, Venus can sometimes be seen from Earth. Yep. Cool. The average surface temperature plays. Okay. Earth. Earth is one of the only planets our solar system capable of supporting life. The 71% of the planet covered with water is a miracle we can all fit. Mars. Often called the Red Planet, Mars is a mostly barren desert world. Pieces of Mars have fallen to Earth and form a mirror. Jupiter. As guys shine, Jupiter has no solid surface, which makes it impossible to stand on it. The large spot in the planet is known as the Great Red Spot. It is not an eye. <gasps> or could it be? Ooh. Saturn. <laughs> Although mostly a gas giant, there may be a large solid core deep inside the planet. This planet's prominent rings are quite a sight to behold. They are the gateway. Why is there a planet up there getting caught? Uranus! <laughs> Uranus! <laughs> this planet is classified as an ice giant as the coldest planet in our solar system. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Unlike most players, Uranus rotates on his side. <gasps> Neptune. Okay. A large storm rages in the planet called the Great Dark Spot. It is the lens. What? Mutated to what, bitch? <laughs> bitch. Oh. Oh, no. What is that? That's not Earth. That's not Mars. The Iris. The IRS. The IRS is attached. It is with us now. The Iris. The I. The I. Laughing at us. It is here. Laughing. <laughs> Well, well, uh, behold, I don't want to behold. Uh oh, uh oh. We're all fucked. We're fucking dead. Pluto. Yeah, planet. 
And our solar system is the smallest of... Yep. And yes. Although it hangs at the edge of the solar system, this planet isn't going anywhere. Are you sure? Are you sure? Our solar system. I guess we're actually done with that. But yeah, just imagine this existing in space. Just fucking imagine it. What the fuck? <laughs> of course it's not, but Jesus, if there was... Oh no, we got the sixth video to watch. Let's do web. Moon like okay, family cat nineteen thirty okay, moon. Come visit Moonlight Acres Family Cam. Since our founding, Moonlight Acres have been devoted to family and creating memories. Our campground is as pristine and beautiful as ever, a relic from the past. Okay. Many of the original camp buildings remain untouched since the initial closure. Let's look at some of the activities our camp has to offer. Death. Destruction. <laughs> activities. <laughs> activities. Oh, shit. Hiking. With so many expansive trails, hiking is a regular occurrence at our camp. Just make sure you don't get lost. Our tree has been tradition throughout our camp's lifetime, but the target's getting more extravagant every year. Oh. Okay. You should boat. Boat. Don't forget about the famous lights in the sky event. Oh, shit. Oh, it's. One of the oh god, they're all connected somehow. They're all connected. <laughs> no need to pitch a tent. <clears throat> Moonlight Acres have ton of places to lay your head. On thighs? What? Sleep? <laughs> For the kids, we have separate boys and girls cabins. Okay. <laughs> Frankly, kind. I don't know about that. Okay. What's up to date safety technology? I don't know about that. Fucking. Excuse me. <laughs> Go away. Do not answer the knocking at the door. Well, I already answered. So, about that. Okay. Oh boy. A campfire. What's going to appear right in front of us? Oh boy, what's going to appear? Mythos. The mythos appeared. The important part of Moonlight Acres legacy is his mythos. Tall tales have been told from person to person throughout the camp's lifetime. In 1935, Rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting camp began to make the rounds. Well-dressed? It said that the men would ask to enter the camp admin's cabin every night for years. One night, a deal was made with the strange men, and they left the camp, never to be seen again. Maybe because they're d here. Another popular myth was myth in the 30s when campgoers began to have sightings of Skinwalkers are red. Red tack. It's getting louder. My ears. I have it at half volume and it's, it's still like kind of loud. Uh. Is that just a close up shop of a skinwalker's dad? Or a very big giant fucking skinwalker. Vessels, excuse me. What? Men club supervisor answered door. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Act to enter. Oh fucking hell. Uh, hell no. Ah. Uh. 
Uh, well, I'm glad I've never been at a camp information video. All right, next video. Gemini Home Entertainment. It's going RGB gamer mode. Okay. Look at the lobe. What? It tends an ad for a game. A fake game, I guess. Maybe. Challenging puzzles. Wait a minute. I want to know. Download now. God. High quality graphics. Plus hats. Uh, it's the computing game thing. The computer company again. Oh wait, this is my time. Dorito eating. Family cabins. Archery. Oh. It's from the last video. It's a game version of the... F yeah, okay. I get it. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, you got the cabins. You got the archery. Okay. Are they all the same person model too? Okay. The times. There's definitely a secret there. Maybe. There's that fucker. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Oh my god, I am. Secret. One enemy. There's no enemy. I don't Maybe that's a reference to the person in the cabin, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Oh no. Uh, 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 <laughs> run. What's that on the sky? The moon. Okay, we're in here now. A ball. A ball with a. Is that a radio or TV? I don't think there was ever portable TV. Is that the skinwalker? What the fuck? It's lining up. Okay, I just see the last frame. Boop, 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 boop. Uses revolutionary AI. Wow. Great. Good fucking good job. Well, about the situation we're in, uh, I think I'm gonna be dead fucking die by probably the planet, probably the ski walker. Probably whatever the fuck's in the deep blue. A fucking I. Ah, that's the one. A I. What's that? What is that? 
please. Okay. Is that the iris? Is that the iris planet? Please, for the love of God. And it's... Is that iris? Is that the iris? That could have been the iris. RGB. Well, we got the last video to watch today, and in the future, I'll do the other half. So, what we got to watch for the last one is well, near survival guide. So let's do it. Let's do this. Last one to watch for this video. Me and I home entertainment. Wow, no weird RGB effects. Wow, no random cut out moon. It's orange too. Well, in your survival guide, Jack, Jack, septic, I, blah, blah, blah. Whenever you're camping, oh my God, God, f fuck off with the camping. Hiking or hunting is important to stay safe. This cassette would teach you many survival tips. <laughs> Essentials, be prepared. Space knowledge that every wildlife and explorer should know. Yep. Basic equipment. A oh, why? Okay, knife. Water flask, non perishable foods, first aid kit, matches, compass, knife. What about a phone? You know, fucking hell. If something happens, you have your phone if it's charged. Thorn stitches and rivers could lead to serious injuries. Wow. Take care. And private properties or hunting grounds could lead to serious fines or worse. Death. Always make sure you have the proper permits before entering the area. Things to avoid. Wildlife in general, bears, cougars, moose. <laughs> if you come to face to face with any of these animals, stay calm. Do not run. Slowly back away, keeping your eyes on the animal. Yeah, that's like. If the animal displays aggression, raise your voice and speak sternly. Keep backing away until you're out of view of the animal. Once out of eyesight. Once out of eyesight, he goes a fucking skin spider bear. <laughs> Poison ivy. Water hemlock. Death. My god. What? What the fuck is this? I see a face in there. What the fuck is this? Nature's mockery. Yep. That was one in the first videos. I think the first, second, first or second one causes hallucinations, sudden muscular paralysis, body disfigurement, flesh decay. I don't think that's even a real thing. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's this. Seriously. Make physical contact. See, seek medical advice. Always keep a first aid kit on hand. Maybe two for good measure. Sounds. Coyote house. Run. <laughs> I don't know. A rat. Two. Fucking hell. Cougar screams. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Number three. Someone help him. Someone. Someone help him, damn it. Someone fucking help him. Okay. Fuck you. If you hear any of these sounds, leave the area immediately. 
now move towards the sound. If you hear them, they have already heard the, you. How? You can't hear a person that hears you if you don't talk. Building a campfire. Fucking campfires everywhere, man. There's fucking campfire. What would you need? Lots of things. Great rings of stones. My goodness. TP. 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 What to do if your fire fails just fails start number one I don't want to follow the lights you fuck Uh oh Uh What Wait, is it going to be an actual person? Help! Help! That's just a cardboard, right? No, it was an actual person. But that was a cardboard. Uh-oh. What is that on the tree? Was the why is it so red? Wait a minute, why is this so red? Why is this so red? If you believe you have been infected through a wound, do the following. Die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just hoping one day I just see well, what to do. Number one, die forcefully. Forcefully. Wait a minute. That guy we saw on the farm is also the same guy from the house in one of, in one of the videos. Oh my goodness. Was it like the first video? Oh. Oh no. Well, I well, uh, wish y'all fair. Oh. Oh, yeah. We did it. We made it. It's the last video we're watching. Well, in the next video, we got all this to watch. Well, that's the end of my reaction to the first half of the Game Night Home Entertainment. So, I will be reacting to more of this soon. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. All the videos will be squished below. The first eight videos. In order, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, join fellow plebs. I'll see you next video. Peace out, fellow plebs.